Your list and essential question is how do we identify cause and effect relationships in informational texts? So this week we'll be looking for connections in informational texts and the connection that we're looking for is cause and effect. You've learned before that cause and effect is when something happens because of something else. The effect is what happens. So if you look, the cause of him making a snowman is that it's snowing. So it's snowing and the effect is he goes outside and builds a snowman. Understanding cause and effect relationships will help you understand how and why events happen. A heavy storm hits and a large tree falls. The storm is the cause or the reason the tree falls. The fallen tree is the effect or what happens as a result of the storm. So cause is the reason something happens, cause is the reason, the effect is the result. The connection between these two events is an example of a cause and effect relationship. Understanding cause and effect can help you see how events and ideas are related. Writers often use words such as because, if, then, since, so, therefore, and as a result to signal and explain a cause and effect relationship. So as we're reading this week, we're going to be looking for some of those words. Let's look at the cartoon. Henry got a balloon at the party. So the cause is that he got a balloon. Since he got a balloon, he decided to blow it up. Henry blew the balloon up too much. So your job today is to identify the effect of him blowing it up too much. So you're going to have to look at this cartoon and decide the effect of blowing up the balloon too much.